Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. A few days ago, Inspector General of Police insinuated that the position was hiring dead bodies to whip up emotions and anti-police sentiments. The remarks are still drawing a lot of mixed political reactions amongst Kenyans. The morticians that Kome was insinuating that were bribed and the allied professionals are now coming out guns blazing, calling Jafet Kome to order. Listen to this before we proceed. Failure to do so, the Inspector General of Police should withdraw his remarks against the facilities, as he put it, and also against the mortuary practitioners, as he put it as well. Waudumao wanasema, kamwe ya hiwezekani wana taaluma hiyo, kushiriki utepetevu wa kiasi hicho. We've worked so hard to clean this industry, and such a reckless statement can return us back to the old days. We don't wish to go there. We are professionals, we work in accordance to the ethics that are laid out, we work in accordance to policies, rules and regulations of facilities. As an association, as those people who work in the mortuary, and according to our line of duty, I believe we give dignity, we give respect to the deceased, and we do our work as per the law. As Africans, we respect our originality from where we've come from. We've come from. So I don't expect any mortician or any mortuary te technologist or technician to do such a thing. Kome alitoa kauli hiyo jumanne katika juhudi zake kutetea idara ya polisi ambayo imelaumiwa pakubwa kwa matumizi ya nguvu wakati wa maandamano yaliyoitishwa na azimio dhidi ya serikali. Taarifa za mashirika mbalimbali zilinyoshea kidole cha lawama idara hiyo kutokana na taarifa yao iliyoonesha kuwa makumi ya watu waliuawa kwenye maandamano hayo katika maeneo mbalimbali nchini. Yes. Let me say this even before we dig deep into that. A few weeks back, a few weeks back, or rather weeks back, the same Jafet Kome was saying that the opposition was targeting him because he is a Meru. I think that was last month during the protests. And now again, Jafet Kome is now insinuating that the opposition was hiring dead bodies to whip up emotions. You are seeing a very reckless inspector general of police. And it, it appears William Ruto's government is getting it completely wrong from all fronts. Look at the integrity of individuals serving in William Ruto's government. Just look at them from top to bottom. I strongly believe that a sane mind cannot serve in a William Ruto's government. Unless because of some serious reasons, I strongly believe that a sane individual cannot serve in this government. Listening to Jafet Kome, he's coming out as the worst IG Kenya's ever had. Anytime Kome opens his mouth, what comes out is actually shocking. That proves one thing. Kome is not fit holding that office. And that's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Besides that, it confirms that Jafet Kome is not independent. He's not independent. Either he's being directed by politicians such as Moses Kuria, because the kinds of remarks he's been making confirms that he's not a professional. He's not acting professionally. He is being guided and being directed by very 
incitive politicians, people like Moses Kuria. It's very unfortunate for a top officer to, make, to have made those remarks. And now the simple thing now Kome should actually do, we should now be seeing people being arrested. We should be seeing some MOG attendants, those morticians, those who are compromised, and those who compromised them. We want to see some arrests. It's, it's not the business of Jafet Kome to be, lame, to, to be coming out to lament. Let us see some arrests. And if there are no arrests, then I strongly believe the best thing Jafet Kome should do is to resign. Because his continued stay in that office is just bringing serious embarrassment to that office. It's actually a total embarrassment. And also from that, you are now seeing clearly that institutions are failing. And the moment institutions are deemed to have failed, then anarchy sets in. And looking at Kenya, anarchy is building slowly but surely. And it's very unfortunate that William Ruto and his allies, instead of putting the country in the path of the rule of law, they are encouraging that kind of anarchy. And I'm saying that because just recently, Pauline Yoroge was arrested at the coast and some rogue police officers tried planting cocaine bang on her. As I talk, no action has been taken against this, those police officers. So you are seeing that the government itself is encouraging anarchy and impunity within its ranks. And as time goes by, there is going to be total anarchy, total impunity in William Ruto's government. Kenyans will no longer trust the police or these other arms of the government, these institutions. Kenyans will now take the law into their own hands because they will feel that there is no institution in Kenya that is working. And just a few days ago, we still remember that there were some reshuffles that were done in the judiciary. Independent judges were actually transferred to some arid places where actually they cannot be reached eh, very, very fast, where Kenyans cannot reach them very, very fast. So you are seeing that the rot is even in the judiciary, where the top leadership of the of judiciary is now in bed with the executive. The judiciary was the only hope maybe Kenyans now have to check the excesses of the government. But with now the judiciary clearly compromised. And with the inspector general of police talking the way Kome is talking, that spells doom for Kenya. It spells doom. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But just as I did indicate, or rather if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe. Comments remarks shows the extent of impunity in William Ruto's government. Where government jobs are being taken to two communities, Recently, there were KRA recruitments, and we are seeing one tribe almost forming the bulk of the recruits. That should not be tolerated. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. Can I request to leave this debate? No, no, gentlemen. Ken, yeah. Why? You know, Ken. Why do you want to leave? Ken, at a level where I regard myself. Mm -hmm as a leader, not a, not, a, not a child. When this is the kind of person you bring me to, to talk national issues with, I have no business. And but again, okay. okay. I have not advocated and I've kept out of the media for a long, for a long time. I know. For over one year.
you've never been i know, you know since when, so when you are in but leadership you, know, you no, can't no, no, afford no, no, to be childish no, 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 you can't tell me over that. matters affecting no, you kenyans you, tell me that. you people are juvenile let me tell you kenya Peter. belongs to all kenyans not Peter. just you let's let's Peter, reduce, reduce, this country, let's not reduce the debate i'm going to mute your mics now gentlemen i want just hold up you don't i'm, I'm skipping that yeah, topic you, you don't you don't get this juvenile I'm, so, oh. I'm skipping that topic there are two more gentlemen here if you are not talking of life let him let, let, let share let him share you cannot use people's lives like you cannot use people as a shield gentlemen john can i have these two mics muted i need to talk to you yeah there are two gentlemen yeah. here who are sober. You don't have to talk about this. I know it's an emotive yeah. topic, but you don't need to yeah. leave. You don't call me to debate such a lost uh, characters. No. Kenya is bigger than the ADOC you have in Mount Kenya. No, Bana. It's not. You can't use people's lives like that. You can't. Gentlemen, as Mwishimi Wakalima leaves, um, your point is You can't. You um, people and you call them shapes. I'd like to say this. And these are the people who Honestly. Are Honestly, Mweshimwa from Gatun. Mweshimwa looks like this, not me. Understandable. Okay. If you um, to live. Well, I'd like to say this yes. first. Sorry, sorry to to every other Kenyan, and and I understand his pain, but I'd.